Hey guys, I made this video as an addition to the Git project that I uploaded, which is called uh, Infinity Scroll, uh, which is just a couple scripts that make it possible for you to uh, make your uh, scroll rects and Unity GUI uh, scroll infinitely. So I'll just display that first. As you can see, I have uh, two scroll rects here, and one of them has a vertical layout group in there, the other one a horizontal one, and if I scroll through them, they will uh, scroll infinitely based on the original content that I had. So this one, that one, there you go. Okay, so um, what I uh, want to show here is basically how I build it. So um, I'm using the regular Unity GUI system. So I have a scroll rect here and I have a vertical layout group right here. And in the other uh, object, I also have the same scroll rect, but then with a horizontal uh, layout group. And it's a couple different uh, settings, but it's all in the demo scene uh, that you can download from GitHub. So it's for you to check out. Uh, one cool thing about this uh, component is that uh, if I were to add more items than uh, these two, then I can just add a third one right here in contents. Um, uh, well, let's call that button, or let's just call it XXX, uh, just to be clear that uh, it's obviously not name dependent or anything. Um, so, yeah, I'll make this uh, blue and I'll hit play right now. And then it should load. Yes, there we go. So now it actually loads the infinite scroll view uh, with these three items. So, and I can obviously add as many items in, uh, as I want to this. And a very cool thing is that you can make them uh, dynamic in width. So right now this one is 100, but if I make him 150, uh, then uh, it will still work properly. And there we go. So now we can see that the first one is very thin, and the middle one is kind of in between, and this one is very thick. But um, the scroll view looks fine no matter what. Okay, so that's basically the features of this infinite scroll view. I had to make it myself because I couldn't find anything good uh, online that was also free, so I uh, just threw this together. It's definitely an alpha stage though, like I, I spent a couple hours on it because I had to do it for a client, but I haven't really optimized it. Uh, the objects don't get pulled, they just get instantiated and destroyed. Uh, and I haven't set up the system to kind of deal with different anchoring in the content right now. This one anchors from the uh, left, which is what I needed, and this one anchors from the top. Um, however, if you were to anchor your scroll views from somewhere else, then uh, it's not going to work properly anymore. Um, let me just quickly show you guys the script. So. As you can see here, the component that I added is an infinite horizontal scroll to this one and an infinite vertical scroll uh, on that one. They both extend from infinite scroll, um, which I have open right here. So if you guys take a look at this, um, the infinite scroll has an init method, which you can call, uh, you can call automatically call it on awake if you have that boolean set to true, but otherwise you can call it later, which is kind of useful if you have uh, an array of data that you want to convert to items and then place in your scroll view and then you want to make it infinite, um, then you probably want to uh, call init later and not on awake. Um, because what init does, it goes through all the children of the, uh, the content and uh, adds them to an array. And basically, when it starts creating that infinite scroll view, it just instantiates new items from those uh, I items in the array. Okay, so um, the script uses a couple abstract methods, which I uh, have right here in the infinite vertical scroll. And the, the one difference between horizontal and vertical scroll is, of course, that, well, here I, have, I asked for min height, where in horizontal scroll, min width, and this is a y instead of an x, and zero value instead of value zero, uh, those kind of things. So um, that's pretty much it. 
let me uh, let me know if you have any more questions or suggestions on how to improve it. As I said, it's just an alpha thing, uh, but I can imagine some people might find it useful to kind of build upon 